never thought I would see the day this would happen. And honestly, I gotta respect bro mom for this. Ex's mom, because I could never. I could never. What's up, what's happening? It's K. We back in this thing. K so good, he sleep with a cut up a throne. Little nigga on the turn. I'm just getting right into this. I ain't gonna waste your time with a little intro or nothing. So basically, uh, last subscribe, help your boy out, help your boy girl. You know what it is, you know I'm the key, you know what I'm saying, my shit. Now, I've seen this thing and I was just surprised and perplexed this is happening. And I just had to talk about it because I had to. So, we here to talk about, um, my nigga X, 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 Tentacion, not DMX, but R.I.P. people. So basically, his mother sits down with his ex girlfriend who accused him of abuse. And when I read this headline, I was just like, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I could never, never, especially my, my son innocent and you, bro. Hell no, I ain't sitting down with you. But she a better woman than me. And she sat down with her. I wanna see what the fuck happened. So we just gonna read this shit. I was very. I was very like, huh. Also, we know the documentary is coming out soon, so go check that shit out as well. So, in the forthcoming Look At Me Now XXX Tentacion documentary, the rapper's mom says, Jase, was his name Jase? Yeah, Jase was wrong for what he did. There is no excuse for that, period. We're currently in the thick of South by Southwest, and during the festivities, guests were treated to the premiere of Look at me, XXX Tentacion. The documentary. Oh, yeah, I always forget South by South is in March. The uh, documentary chronicles the life and career of the slain rapper who was murdered during a botched robbery back in 2018. His cult fan base has continued to support him posthumously, but, controver but controversy followed the rapper in life, especially the allegations of domestic violence. In October 26. Sorry, in October. 2016, XXX Tentacion, real name Jose Onfri, 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 I hope I said your last name right, if I didn't, my bad, was arrested on uh, several charges that related to an incident involving his then girlfriend Geneva Alaya, Ayala, Ayala. The rapper's fans have long vilified Geneva online and According to the Daily Beast, her social media accounts were hacked. She was kicked out of his... Vi oh, yeah, I remember that. They kicked her out of his visual. And the fans even had a GoFundMe. She started for her eye surgery briefly suspended. What happened to her eyes? I'm I don't know. But I love how for the thing, official... Oh, it's on Hulu? I'm going to watch that show when it comes out. I love how they use the Majin Buu picture. You know when he's on the stage, you look, mm, you look like fucking Majin Buu if you paint him pink. I love how they use that bullshit for the cover. Anyways, it's an iconic photo of him, I will say. Anyways, while crafting uh, X's documentary, filmmakers, along with the rapper's family, believed it was important to confront this controversy head-on in an effort to portray a full picture. <clears throat> Everyone was like, you are ruining his career. But at the same time, I felt my whole life was ruined because nobody even cared, Geneva said. After that, I was homeless. I lived in a hotel almost a year. After that, I was trying to say what happened. If you are going to think I'm a liar, I'm a liar. How am I supposed to fight that? I'm the only one person. It was a really dark moment for my life. I will say, ex's fan base, they ride for that nigga. And maybe she was trying to say it hurt her truth, but hey, niggas wasn't allowing it. Now listen, my, my, I'll fuck with X, but even I knew that nigga was a little aggressive. I ain't gonna cap. There was no way to stop it. He had the power to do it all. It was kind of, it was kind of a romantic feeling in the beginning. It was a mesh of always taking care of each other and trying to better ourselves, she added. But within weeks, she claimed that physical, the physical abuse again. She, along with Talisa Lee, who was reportedly dating a friend of X's, detailed alleged uh, encounters of abuse in the documentary and included photos of her injuries. There is even a moment when X's mother, Cleo, sat down with uh, Geneva 101. Although X's denied that he laid a hand on his ex, in an interview and even to his mother, his mother Cleo has come to the terms with it all, and although she always supported her son, she condemned his actions. <clears throat> this is a quote from the mom. 
A part of me took that and ran with it, she said. That's my son. Even if he's hitting her, that's my son. If he's a devil, that's my son. I birthed him. Wrong, right, or indifferent. I am going to have his back no matter what. I'll always have his best interest at heart. Protect her. Any mother would protect him. Any mother would have done the same. I misquoted that. So, so. Cleo told Geneva, my son is no longer here, and I feel like it's up to me now to make amends and try to right his wrongs as much as I can. I would actually like to hear you tell your story because, like I said, my son died. He's never admitted it to me. About that, my shit died as I continued. What's the guy? I don't think you would want me to see him in the light or know that side of him. Jose was wrong for what he did. There's no excuse for that, period. But I just want the world to know that he wasn't the same person anymore but the part that the past is the part of his story and then i'm not going to hate her cleo added and my son is not here and i don't think she would be mistreated in any way this is about his legacy and she was the love of his life and she was part of his legacy she kind of bad i ain't gonna care i'm not gonna lie she kind of bad She kind of bad. I'm I'm mad my shit died at the end of that shit. I thought it was way more. But yeah, hey, man, I can't wait to see the documentary now. This just makes me excited to see the documentary. That shit going to be crazy. Like, they actually sit down and she tells the side of the story and see what it is. She low-key kind of bad. I'm going to lie about that. But it's interesting. If the mom has found peace in the fact that her son could do that shit, let's keep it above, bro. If we do some fuck shit, we might, we not going to tell our parents. Let's keep it above. We not... We're not going to tell our parents it is what it is. So, like, I could understand X not telling his mom he did that shit. Let's keep it a book. But, like, yo, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, bro. Can't believe, yo, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. It's been almost four years because my nigga died in the summer, right? He died in the summer or maybe in the fall. Yeah, I remember it was hot outside. Well, he in Miami, he hot. <laughs> I remember it was hot outside. He in Miami, though. It's hot outside. Whatever. Yeah, but that's crazy, man. Actually, you know what? Let me search exactly while I'm here. Fuck it. Let me search exactly when he passed. But, yeah, that's crazy. I can't wait to see the documentary, though. I'm kind of hyped. See, that was the thing that we honestly didn't listen to her. Because maybe we do fuck with X a lot. We didn't listen to her. So, that is fair that she felt to wait. Let me just search this real quick. My other shit is dying. Yeah, let me just search this shit up quick. I don't just know. Nigga, his name, nigga. The fuck? When does nigga pass? Yeah, but it's crazy, man. Let me just find out when my nigga passed real quick. He died June 18, 2018. Yeah, it was in the summer. But yeah, that's great. I'm really looking forward to this interview, this documentary to see what the fuck goes on. But yeah, man, my shit died. I'm going to have to go real quick. You hear me? It's your friendly neighbor, K.A. Sunny Alpha. Today, like, subscribe. You know all that stuff. I got some other videos. I'm off of this thing. Shlam Zoom, peace, Shalge, gang. Aye.